Butter chicken is one of the most popular curries in the world. Making butter chicken was never so easy and nothing beats an easy to make roasted butter chicken. And you don't need to be a pro to make great butter chicken at home. So let's start making this recipe. For making butter chicken, first we'll need to marinate our chicken with yogurt and spices. I am using 1.5 kg of boneless chicken for this recipe. You can also use thighs or chicken breast. We'll start by adding 1 tablespoon of Kashmiri red chilli to the chicken. It seems like a lot but don't worry, it's very mild and only imparts red color to the gravy without making it spicy. Add a teaspoon of coriander powder, half teaspoon ground cumin, half teaspoon turmeric powder, half teaspoon garam masala or curry powder which is available in South Asian food stores. A tablespoon of lemon juice, salt to taste, quarter cup yogurt. Yogurt helps to tenderize meat very gently resulting in meat that is very tender and can be easily pulled apart by hand. And last but not the least a tablespoon of oil. Mix all the ingredients very nicely and coat the chicken evenly. Then we'll marinate this chicken for at least 2 hours or overnight if time allows. After 2 hours, layer the chicken in a baking tray and then we'll roast it at 425 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes. I am making a large batch so I am using 2 baking trays for roasting the chicken. While our chicken is cooking, we'll start preparing our gravy for the chicken. For this, heat a karai and add 2 tablespoons of oil and 2 tablespoons of butter. Adding butter alone burns the butter on high heat. The oil gives a higher smoke point so the butter doesn't burn and gives rich nutty flavor to the gravy. When the oil is hot enough, add 2 bay leaves and saute for a minute. Add 5 green cardamoms. A tablespoon of crushed garlic, 1 tablespoon crushed ginger. Saute it until the raw smell goes off and it slightly changes its color to golden brown. It will take around 2 to 3 minutes. Then add 1 and a half cups of roughly chopped onions. We'll cook the onions until they are soft and translucent. After onions, I am adding some cashews. And don't forget to soak your cashews in hot water before using because water makes the cashews soft and when blended it makes smooth and creamier gravy. Add 500 grams of roughly chopped tomatoes. Add some salt. Be mindful of adding salt because we already added some salt in the chicken. We'll cook the tomatoes until they are soft and mushy to get that flavorful gravy. So cook it covered for 10 minutes on medium low heat. After 10 minutes, give it a mix and turn off the heat. Now remove this mixture into a bowl to cool down a bit before we blend it into a smooth paste. At this stage, we'll remove the bay leaves and 5 cardamoms that we added earlier. 
stir it to cool down a bit. Now comes the last step of this recipe. Heat a tablespoon of butter in a kadai and add a teaspoon of cumin seeds. To give some nice orange color to the gravy, we'll add half teaspoon of Kashmiri red chili and half teaspoon of turmeric powder. If you want to add some heat, add half teaspoon of red chili powder. Give it a mix, then we'll pour in our blended gravy. Keep on stirring the gravy and to clean the blender jar and remove all the gravy from the jar, rinse the jar with some water and add it to the kadai. Add some more water if you want to adjust the consistency. After adding water, we'll cook it covered for 5 minutes and by the time our chicken will also be ready. After 30 minutes, remove the chicken from the oven and without burning yourself, very carefully add it to the gravy. And in the end, we'll add a tablespoon of dried crushed fenugreek leaves. A teaspoon of coriander powder and garam masala. Give it a mix and then we'll cook it covered for another 5 minutes for chicken to absorb all the flavors of gravy. Turn off the heat and add quarter cup of cream and our butter chicken is ready. Remove it in a serving dish and serve hot with rice, naan or chapati. Garnish with some dried fenugreek leaves. I hope you enjoyed cooking butter chicken with me today. For more interesting videos, Please stay tuned and please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.